Hey folks, just want to do a quick video um, to introduce you to uh, the new, the newest model, module in Private Content Wizard, which is the Do It Yourself model, the DIY model. Um, I just want to just use this video. I'm going to create a, a number of videos. I want to do do a quick video to just show you um, the initial setup. Because once you um, have downloaded the app, so your folder your folder will come up like this PC W1 zip. And in that folder you would have the private content wizard, which is the program. Now if you haven't already done so, you will need to install the LM Studio. Uh, I've included this version of LM Studio in here because it's the one that currently works properly with Private Content Wizard. I don't know what the um, owners of the LM Studio program, which is a server, uh, did to the um, newer updates that they've been putting out because it just doesn't work with Private Content Wizard. So if you've already installed private content so if you've already installed the LN Studio um, 0.2.23 um, update you don't have to do anything with this so really all you need is private content wizard which is the latest um, update just want to realize um, I have not <laughs> updated the the number I can do that now actually I'll do that after this video all right so at the moment the update should be showing version 1.3 pro um it should be 1.4 so um hopefully by the time you get this video and the updates should be saying 1.4 Pro. Okay. Um, but what I just wanted to show you is that when you come in here, this is how um, it will look empty. Uh, and all we just have to do is add modules. You can add, you can delete modules. So when you add the module, the idea is that you want to create a workflow. And the workflow would be a combination of modules that the AI would now follow to write your articles. Um, so we can add, I, I would say to start off with, let's we'll add a, a headline module and then add another one and then add an outline module. Then as most articles we would have either body or bullets body or bullets so i can actually duplicate that and change that to the um, actually no intro intro so we've got the headline outline intro to duplicate that and we got a body duplicate that and make that uh conclusion okay just just as as an idea right so I would suggest you you name each each uh, module so this you know this is the headline you know this is the outline because it just makes it easier to know what you're looking at like this is the intro this is a body and this is a conclusion so just quickly what um, when private, uh, private content wizard sees this module when it works through this module what's going to do it's going to first start off you, you you have to add in your keyword let's say you add your keyword the keyword is let's say building Houses with clay. Um, 
so the the the, the code will, will pick up the keyword then look at the headline uh, module you have here and follow the instructions you've, you've, you've placed in here to come up with the headline then go to the outline follow the instructions you've placed in here to come up with the outline then using the outline is now going to um, go to the intro fill in the intro here go to the body now if you've got just one body module here the code will just use this body module to write all the body sections of the outline so if you have maybe five body sections you've got going to have five body sections written but following this um, instruction in this module and then it then goes to the conclusion now you can have as many body modules as you want so I should change this to body <laughs> yeah so this is the body that's a conclusion that's the intro but yeah so I should you can have as many body modules as you as you need to make your um, workflow work better with the outline you've created but just saying that if you don't necessarily if you don't have more than one body module it just keeps using this body module if you have three module module body modules <laughs> money modules <laughs> it, it it just um, uses the first one goes to the next one goes to the third one goes back to the first one and just keeps on doing that until finish writing um, all the body content um, in your outline then it goes to the conclusion and if you want to include bullets um, so this this um, module is sorry this, this um, radio option is what you choose for bullets so I could duplicate this and now name this bullets and you don't have to use this naming um, a convention I just did that to just make it easy for you to understand what I'm saying here but but you could you could use anything that works for you right and then you save the workflow uh, wherever it, your workflows are uh, now just to make it easy let's just delete this workflow in the download folder you would see my workflows I just included two examples now these examples are not uh, have not been written to be anything special yet but this is just to give you some idea of what to 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 leave in the workflow like you will see that in the workflow anyway each workflow has a sample explanation of what you should have in the workflow in the module so if you um, go to the body module it will give you an explanation of what you have with the body body model so as, as a start off you could first say you could just come in here delete everything above the system and then you have a working body module just like that I could say you could come in here and then you just um, adjust the content in here but my, my suggestion would be to read clearly um, the instructions here because that's going to give you a better insight into what you have put in uh, each model okay so back to the workflow so I'll just suggest you copy that workflow copy it to your maybe your desktop or wherever you want And, and from there all you can then do is go in and load the workflow and just find that workflow so you can load either one of them let's just load that one 
and you've got your workflow here. So this is an example workflow and I could just do write for me and the code you just go through the process of starting to write the work like this is already written the, the, the outline the headline outline int, and then you use that to kind of write the, the content so that's a basic startup for using the DIY module I'm hoping that makes sense All right so if you have any questions just kind of drop me a note okay wishing you all the best